Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a major update for the Ricoh Theta X, which is a all-in-one 360 camera designed primarily for virtual tours and 360 photography. It has very high resolution, excellent lens technology. The major update for this camera, which should be available now, is that it can shoot HDR DNG 360 photos, which is basically shooting raw images. That was probably the one thing missing from the Theta to X. Um, it could shoot HDR photos, it had a higher resolution, it was basically what people were looking for in an all-in-one camera for shooting high quality 360 photos, but the one thing missing was the ability to shoot raw images, which does just massively increase the quality of your photos if you're willing to go in and edit them. The new feature comes via a plugin, but it's automatically included when you download the new firmware. So once you've downloaded that firmware, turn on your Ricoh Theta X, swipe from the right, and you'll see uh, the plugin screen looks something like this, and you'll see HDR DNG. Now you just tap on that, and that will activate the DNG HDR mode, and you'll be able to select what your uh, settings are. But if I were you, I would keep it on the 11K, that's the maximum resolution, and select HDR Plus. And if you want remote control, remote access to this, connect the camera to your phone via the Wi-Fi as usual. Once you've done that, press that little button on the top right hand and you'll get a QR code. When you scan that QR code with your phone, it will take you to a page where you can remotely control the HDR DNG features. So you could use your phone as a shutter and move out of the way of the camera when you shoot your images. So when you're shooting a raw image with the Theta X, it does take a little bit longer for the image to shoot, around about 10 seconds versus five seconds with the uh, the other settings, the normal HDR setting. But we can take a look here at what a an example of a HDR DNG image looks like once I've edited it and processed. And I think it does look really amazing. The, uh, the resolution is high. The fact that you can now go in and reduce the shadows, bring out more details. The raw image just gives you way more editing options and just looks so much better than the normal standard JPEG. And I can go in and show you how you would edit that raw image. Once you've taken your HDR DNG photo, you go in, uh, connect your camera to your laptop. You'll see that dual fish eye lens image, the two circles. Now you're gonna have to use a program like Photoshop or Lightroom. In this example, I am using Lightroom and then import those images or that image in. It will be the dual fish eye. Now you can go into the develop tab and then mess around with the editing options. Now, I'm not an expert editor, but even for me, you can get a lot of quality just by uh, reducing the shadows, the highlights, changing exposure, adding saturation. Anyone who is a great color editor is gonna do better than me, but even in just 20 seconds, you can see the kind of difference you can make to the image. Now, once you're done, export that image in the JPEG format. The last thing you need to do is stitch that dual fish eye lens together. And to do that, you just need to download the Rico Theta Stitcher available on their website. It's a separate program, very easy to use. Drag that edited dual fish eye image that you've just exported from Lightroom, drag it onto the Rico Theta Stitcher. Then you're basically ready to export. You can mess around with the kind of horizon level, but you mostly probably won't need to do that. Um, then you can just export from that and the image is ready. And we can take a look here at a few other examples I shot and some um, comparisons with just shooting with JPEG and shooting with the native HDR without RAW. Finally, the DNG HDR image edited in Lightroom. And you can see there is a massive difference. The quality is great. This is gonna be perfect for um, anyone who wants to up their game with virtual tours. The Theta range of cameras has proven extremely popular for uh, people who create virtual tours or just in general like shooting 360 images. So this is a big upgrade for this camera. So it's definitely a contender still for one of the best cameras to use for 360 virtual tours. Just takes a little bit of extra time to edit those DNG images. You can download the firmware from your phone or from the camera itself. And also the Ricoh Theta Stitcher is available on the Ricoh Theta website and I'll post a link in the description. But that's it guys, hope you found that useful. Until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.